What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, 13 minutes of gameplay that, that they released of uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, this is the sequel to Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. If you guys haven't played that game, it's an amazing PS4 first-person exclusive game. Uh, this one is coming out to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So let's hop right in, see what kind of improvements they, they've made, and then let's talk about it. So here we go. State of play. All right, what do you got, Sony? Already, already, um, it feels very much like the original. I'm not seeing a huge improvement graphics-wise so far. But that's not to say it doesn't look good. It looks really, really good. It looks sub above normal good. Hopefully, this one's a little bit more uh, action-packed than the first one. Okay, Raiders. With raiders. They hit our camp hard. I can already tell the improvement in the uh, cutscene style because the characters aren't so static as they were in the first game. They're moving their arms more, they're interacting with objects more. Um, it's not as stiff, which I appreciate. Raiders got machines on their side. The facial uh, animations still look amazing, just like the first game. You should go after Aaron. Lighting looks great. Um, environments look extremely beautiful. Alloy's still looking uh, gorgeous as always. I like her new outfit too. It's more uh, jungle inspired. But what new uh, tricks does she have? Let's see some actual gameplay here. Nice uh, camera transition from cutscene to gameplay. Very nice. What are raiders doing in these ruins? Okay, gameplay actually looks a lot better than the cutscenes do. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm liking the uh, tropical setting, the more sunny lit areas. The beach, the beach is awesome. Just more variety from the first game. Uh, that's kind of what it was missing. And we actually have animals in this game, more real animals, like such as these birds flying around. Oh, what do we got? Oh. So of course hiding and stealth is going to still be a major part of uh, this game. Ooh, these are like raptors. Alright, we haven't seen these before, these are new. Oh god, you better get out. They could probably communicate with each other. That would be my guess, because that's what uh, raptors are known for. And they got raiders in the back. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. Riding machines. This is not good. All right, so the threat level is definitely getting up there. Better be careful. Okay, I'm so we got more. a st stealth uh, element, giving me kind of Last of Us vibes. Yep, another one. Okay, so those things like to uh, jump in the air and do a tail whip. And of course, in uh, Horizon settings, uh, in the Horizon fashion, they have the uh, breakable parts. That was close. Nice, yep. Just like in the first game, if you get overwhelmed, sometimes the best thing to do is to uh, run away, get out of the situation, get some space. But like I said, these seem like they're uh, smart. They are uh, communicating with each other. They're cutting her off. It looks like the game world gives you a lot more options for uh, how you want to traverse, how, no matter how you want to do it. it. Looks like there's a lot more uh, options there for you to choose. Ooh, that was nice. That was an awesome dive. All right, so we got underwater gameplay here. I wonder if we got uh, monsters in the wall. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, All right, now we have threats in the water as well, so that's brand new. Gorgeous underwater levels. Look at this. Look at the coral, the way the seaweed interacts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful underwater environments. Now, I really don't know how he's holding... And the hair, look at the hair underwater. Oh my god, that looks amazing. That's next gen right there. 
Now, how is she breathing underwater? That's my question. Does she have a breathing apparatus, I assume? The little details of the bubbles so you can see the current. That's awesome. The reflection of the light coming through the water looks fantastic. The fog and the way the waterfall, the fog around the waterfall where it hits, just the tiniest of details are just blowing my mind with this game. All right, now we got these riders back with their uh, raptors. I have friends, okay? That's the guy from the uh, first game. The ones you slaughtered. When they come looking for me, Still alive, it's good to know. Trouble. Trouble. What is that thing? Oh my god. <clears throat> All right, we got a mammoth here. Just screwing around with him, messing with him. You guys wouldn't be laughing. Yeah, you wouldn't. I my hammer. You know, get moving. So yeah, we have a whole new faction to learn more about and learn about in this world. Uh, much more lore, brand new machines, um, improved graphics, improved lighting, improved facial animations, improved cutscenes. Transitions from camera to cutscene are beautiful and they work. I gotta help Aaron and deal with that trauma. And, and the little details, like Insomniac's starting to get on par with the Naughty Dog. Now we have two the, the way the grass crinkles beneath her feet. <laughs> I'm ready for this game. I'm, I'm so ready. Make it look like now let's see some actual combat here, see how she uh, gets out of this situation. Made short work of it. Filthy Osaram. Alright. Gonna go in for the uh, stealth attack here, right in the back. Nice. I like how the music kicks in right, right, right when you go for the kill. <clears throat> so the combat feels uh, very much like the first game. We now have a little bit of a slowdown when you pull the bow back. I'm gonna take you out. Oh, okay, nice. Brutes, what do we got here? A lot of dodging, I assume. Oh, okay, wasn't expecting to be that fast. Chip away at his armor, just like you would at the uh, mechanical enemies. You think you can hurt me? What in the heck is this? All right, so now we got special attacks, super attacks sort of thing. More combo opportunities in the first game, which is well, well welcomed. I definitely want that. Makes combat more uh, layered, deeper. Raiders said they were heading for the old bridge. Maybe I can cut them I off. still like the narrative, uh, how it's still Aloy's tale and it's still her uh, thoughts as you're playing. I enjoyed that for the first game and I'm glad it's back here. It just adds a whole new layer to Aloy and how she is as a character. How she interacts with the world around her. Man, everything looks so good though. From the water to the dust particles, the bugs in the air. Is that the San Francisco bridge over there? Yep. There's the bridge. <clears throat> so this is San Francisco, I assume. I think I know a way to get there first. Oh my god. They have a uh, hand glider now. Very much like uh, Breath of the Wild or Biomutant. Very cool. I love when you can have a hand glider in like an open world game. Makes traversal so much easier. So is she gonna try to uh, stealth kill this one here? Is this a one hit kill? Like the stags were? No, she's gonna uh, turn it. Okay. So you can ride these. Okay, cool. Very awesome. 
Help's on the way, Aaron. And I, I love the movement of them too. They feel like raptors, like the way they move, the way they hunch down when they while they're walking forward. I love it. I love every second of it. I'm wondering if this is an early mission or a later mission in the game. Yeah, one raptor versus a mammoth. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so it's gonna be kind of like a. Uh, Okay, take out the uh, guards on top. <clears throat> oh, okay, one hit destroyed that raptor. Was not expecting that to go down that easy. Oh, wow, okay. Structable uh, everything still looks great as it's flying off. The laser beams look freaking awesome, the colors. How do you make an elephant more dangerous? You give it laser beams. That's how you do that. Gotta slow you down. So it looks like a new weapon here, a goo gun. Goos them in place so they can't uh, move. Boom, all right, right in the engine piece. Oh man, so epic, I love it. All right, now she ripped off one of its guns. She's gonna use the laser gun. Oh man. The details are so good. This is next gen, guys. This and Ratchet and Clank are true next gen titles. The grappling hook makes it so much easier now to uh, traverse when you're in a tight spot. God, so good. All the rubble, everything. Oh, didn't like that, did you? Seen a, quite a few new weapons here, actually. Uh, new arrow types. Time to finish this. Boom, a little bit easy, but could have just been for show, who knows. But still epic, awesome, awesome, awesome. See me? Uh, you bet. Uh, uh, I owe you another one. Come on. Oh man, I'm ready for this game. I cannot wait to get a PlayStation 5 now. Uh, well, this time, I have a present for you. Uh, oh, oh. I found it, Emily. Huh? What you sent me for? Right before the Raiders got me. You did good. All right, so she's going around the world collecting these parts for whatever reason, ties into the bigger story. Um, my guess would be ancestral reasons. She's trying to find out where she came from, who she was, uh, what she means to the world. But it definitely sets up a grander adventure that I cannot wait to see. You always said a storm was coming. Yeah. Yep. Horizon Forbidden West coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4. That is a trailer. Let's talk about it. So that was 13 minutes of gameplay of Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, to me, it looks amazing. Everything they showed, everything that they showed improved upon looked like a huge improvement over the original. Um, it looks like they're going in the right directions. It's definitely something I'm going to play. I love the first one. They didn't have anything really wrong with it in the first place. So if it's not fixed, I'm going to still play it because it's not broken. Uh, so I will be there day one to be playing that. Look forward to a playthrough whenever I get my PlayStation 5 and that game eventually coming out. Um, but yeah, it looks awesome. I cannot wait to play it. Um, every second of that demo was beautiful. Blew me away. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for Horizon Forbidden West or not? Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And as always, guys, keep it right here on Dorkston. I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.